So it's almost New Year's. It's almost 2016. Where did the time go? You know what's really, really, really counterproductive? Setting unrealistic goals for yourself. Yeah, one day recently I told myself I was gonna get up super early, work out, paint, edit videos, film videos. I woke up at noon. Think I accomplished anything that day? No, but my sim sure did. If you have big goals for 2016, if you are just super ambitious, if there is something that you absolutely want to accomplish this coming year, kudos. That is awesome. I encourage you to do that. But you know what I am not gonna do? I am not going to discourage myself with all this pressure that I need to achieve something that me, myself, and I all know that I'm probably not gonna do. I used to tell myself, okay, Adria, this new coming New Year's, new, new coming. I used to tell myself, hey, Adria, New Year's coming. Let's be super healthy this year. And then you know what happens? You know what happens to that? I eat cupcakes. That's what happens. I tell myself, new year, new me, let's be healthy. Then I end up eating cupcakes. I enjoy cupcakes. So why shouldn't I eat cupcakes every now and then? Yes, it's good to want to be healthy, be in shape, but you know what? If you deprive yourself, you're gonna crack. It's good to cut down on stuff, slowly wean yourself off of stuff, because I've done that before. I've cut sweets out of my life completely and to the point where I haven't even craved them whatsoever. And I felt good, I was walking like three miles every day, I was super in shape, I felt good. But how good did I really feel in a world without cupcakes and chocolate? And Smarties, my favorite candy Smarties. I'm not gonna go without my favorite things in this world. I'm just not. So as great as it is to wanna improve things in your life, to have goals, I'm not saying don't have goals, but life is very short. And I know it seems like people that say life is short are the people that end up doing stupid crap and justify it by saying, oh, life is so short. No, I'm not saying it in that way. I'm saying it to enjoy life and not put so much pressure and expectation on yourself. I'm the person that always puts these high expectations on myself and when I don't meet it, I destroy myself. I hate myself when I don't meet my own expectations. Even though nobody else is expecting it but me, I'm still very crushed. I think people should make goals any day. Why do we have to make goals all of a sudden just because a new year is starting? Every day is a brand new day. January 1st is just another day. So if you wanna change something in your life, change it today. Don't wait for the new year, change it right now. Okay? And as far as the cupcake thing goes, I'm not saying to not get in shape, don't aspire for health and all that. I'm just saying, don't deprive yourself of stuff that makes you happy. Don't say I'm never eating a cupcake ever again, cause let's be real, that's never gonna happen, especially for me. You know, I could die tomorrow. I could not even see this new year. I could totally die tomorrow. That would be tragic, but I could. And I would like to die happy and satisfied with my life. Yeah, I wanna accomplish stuff. Yeah, I wanna reach goals, but I don't wanna completely bombard my life with all these unreal expectations of what I need to be doing. I am not a robot. I can't just plug all this stuff into me and be like, all right, I'm gonna do this, 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 and this by the end of this year. And if I don't, I'm a failure. I've done that so many times and I'm sick of it. Yeah, I'll work out this year. Yeah, I'll eat good this year. But I also will eat cupcakes if I want some cupcakes. Yeah, I wanna do more art, create more art, sell more art. Yeah, I wanna keep doing YouTube, make more YouTube videos, improve my content, all that stuff, but I'm not gonna kill myself over it. I'm not gonna make myself miserable trying to achieve goals that I would think would make me happy. Does that make sense? <gasps> oh, cupcake. You know, say you wanna go back to school this year. Like, hey, I wanna go back to college this year. Strive for it, try to do it. I'm not saying to not try things. I'm not saying to not dream big, because you should dream big, definitely, always. But don't beat yourself up if it doesn't work out, because that's what I do. I go back and I watch all my New Year's resolution videos here on YouTube, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, Adria, you are such a failure, you didn't do any of this. That's why I'm not setting resolutions this year. That's why I'm not putting the pressure on myself, because I only built myself up to let myself down. And that sounds really depressing, but you know what? It's the truth. And I'm just gonna keep it real in 2016, okay? Brandon wants to get healthy in 2016, and I'm all for that, and I will totally support him with that, and if that means me not getting to eat my Captain Crunch Berries, I can go without. I can make sacrifices. I'll do it with him, that's fine. But you know, if one day we really want some Dunkin' Donuts, maybe we'll just want Dunkin' Donuts. It's not gonna be the end of the world if we cave. 
Uh, does this video even make sense? One year on New Year's, I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep this jar and I'm gonna write something good that happens to me every day or something I'm grateful for, something that makes me happy. Write it down on a sticky note and put it in that jar every day and I did it. I did it for the whole year and I was proud of myself for that. So if there's something that you do wanna start at the beginning of 2016, go for it. Go for it, girl. If you've worked hard all of 2015, you feel your life's going pretty good and you're just like, huh. Don't think there's anything I wanna work on at the moment. That's fine. I might come to you in February. There might be something you wanna change in February. Go for it. Like, oh no, it's February. I better wait till 2017 now. No. You can start a new beginning whenever you want. You don't have to wait for a new year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know, I was kind of just thinking about New Year's resolutions and the new year coming up and everything. I always feel this pressure as the day is getting closer, like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna change about myself this year? I don't know, I feel like it's slightly a toxic way of thinking if you really think about it, to put all this pressure on yourself to suddenly change overnight and try this whole new thing, but it can be good, can be motivating. But for some people, if it's a really high goal, it can be a little defeating. What am I gonna do this year? I am gonna take each day as it comes and meet each daily goal that I have and I'm just gonna try to do the best that I can. That's all I can do. Just be happy in all aspects of my life. And if I don't achieve that goal, if I can't even achieve being happy, then that's a problem. You know, I'm not gonna say, all right, I'm gonna get a six pack, get the best job ever, move into a huge expensive house, I'm gonna get a really nice car, I'm gonna do all this. I just want happiness and I will do the best I can to achieve things in my life that make me happy and be in a place at the end of 2016 where I feel like it was a good year. That I was happy. The fact that I'm still alive, I'm like, okay, this is an accomplishment. <laughs> so I will see you guys again in the new year. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> see you next year. I always hate it when people say that. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below something that you want to try to achieve in 2016, but you're not going to kill yourself over it if it doesn't happen. And I hope you guys all have a great 2016, and I hope that 2015 was a good year for you. And if you didn't reach your goals for the year, it's all right. I'm not beating myself up over my unachieved goals and neither should you. All we can do is strive for a better us each and every day. Yeah, I think that's the point I was trying to make. So yeah, I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, panda hugs. I love you guys. Bye!